compromise on the fundamentals. With that, on no account, on no account, should Twitter allow itself to, you know, be, be coerced into compromising the right of Nigerians to use that platform to express themselves. Because they are not going to stop with Twitter. They will also go after Facebook. They will go after WhatsApp. They will go after all other platforms that gives us Nigerians the power and the opportunity to express ourselves. So Twitter has to be firm on the principles of free speech. However, I also agree that it is important for them to have some form of communication. If like Mohamed, for example, is saying that Nandam Dekan will put out a tweet and they had officially reported to Twitter, let him make the evidence public so that Twitter can also come out to say, this is why we did not delete this tweet. As of today, Lai Mohammed has not presented any modicum of evidence, not even one piece of evidence to show that there was a particular tweet that the government frowned at and officially reported that nothing was done. In the case of India, that you cited Dr. Bhatti, the Indian government has specifically requested that certain accounts be taken down, and they provided the evidence. I have not seen the evidence of that in this country. What is going on is continuation of the impunity that has pervaded this country in the last six years. And we should never sit down to dialogue about democracy. It is either they give us a democratic country, it is either we have a democratic country based on the rule of law, or the rule of based on the rule of might and dictatorship. We cannot be in between. We cannot be compromising on our rights. We cannot be compromising on democracy because this is what APC promised Nigerians. They did not tell us as part of their manifesto that they were going to regulate the social media. They didn't. Le Mohamed did not. Look at the statements he made as spokesperson of the Action Congress and even spokesperson of the APC. Can you imagine if somebody in opposition speaks today the way Lai Mohammed used to speak? The same Lai Mohammed even opposed the proscription of Boko Haram. But this government proscribed IPOP. And now they are saying it was because of, it is because of IPOP, it is because of Nam De Kano. Why did they have to declare and designate IPOP as a terrorist organization? They started peacefully. The government mismanaged the crisis the same way they have mismanaged the economy, the same way they have mismanaged the security, the same way they have mismanaged infrastructure, the same way they have mismanaged everything in this country. They mismanaged the IPOP crisis and allow it to deteriorate because this is a government that believes in violence as an official policy. They don't believe in peaceful engagement. When you protest peacefully, they kill you. When you protest peacefully, they attack you. They deploy the military against you. So when I, when these people started what they call Eastern Security Network, it was because the government had said, you cannot be talking peacefully. We don't listen to peaceful people. We only want to dialogue with bandits. We only want to give amnesty to Boko Haram. We only listen to those that resort to violence. If IPOP issue was properly managed, why did the military have to invade the home of Nam De Kano? Why did they have to attack his parents? Why can't we be truthful to ourselves as a nation? How come there are dozens of IPOP members that were killed? No police officer, no military officer was punished. Look at the killing at the toll gate. Nobody has been sanctioned. Look at the killing of hundreds of shites. Nobody has been penalized in this country. And we continue to demand peace. We continue to talk about unity. We cannot have peace and unity on the bedrock of injustice. We cannot have peace without justice. When you don't have justice in a country, violence is inevitable. That is what these examples I have cited shows. So what we should be talking about is accountability. What should we should be talking about is respect for the rule of law. Uh, Except there is respect for the rule of law, you cannot really stop what is going on across the country. That is the truth. And unfortunately for us, it does appear 